there it is ready to start this I've been looking at Neom Saudi Arabia uh, I just found and I have programmed in this uh, this three-tiered honeycomb beehive uh, I thought that would be really cool for luxury waterfront um, full service dwelling in Neom Saudi Arabia um, that's obviously a little dock there pool sculpture roads uh, one of the things that hasn't been discussed very much is the uh, the subway system in uh, in Neom Saudi Arabia and uh, one of the things I was thinking about uh, myself being environmentalist and thinking primarily that nature should have a, its own uh, space in the United Nations and I think Sophia might be able to help out with that but um, you know fungal biology has been studied for the past few years and I, I studied under Masanobu Fukuoka he's from Japan um, what we're talking about is um, is this uh, minutia of creation a, uh, a fungal form of intelligence that helps us and uh, consciousness creates these networks from nodes um, much like the same in blockchain um, cryptocurrencies databases we have a self-organizing intelligence um, within ourselves, within our hives, within our cells, within our uh, bodies, within our cities, right? There's fractals and patterns that, that repeat throughout the universe. Um, we're talking about, um, you know, participatory, voluntary, collaborative, adding value, creating cooperative shared gains in a distributed multiplication um, a decentralized sort of uh, sustainability initiative anyway so getting back to Masanobu Fukuoka uh, from Japan uh, he um, he pioneered he worked for uh, he said he was glad that the war was over and that he wanted to wage peace in an environmentally sustainably way and so um, he developed uh, research that was carried on in Tokyo uh, about this uh, self-organizing biology, uh, fungal biology in this case. And he actually inoculated an agro map uh, based on this uh, mega city, Tokyo. Um, and so he created a, uh, a tiny uh, agro map uh, from inoculating mycelium like this. And uh, they managed to uh, um, to first observe how uh, mycelium creates these uh, um, these networks, right? Uh, and then they managed to uh, to actually use this uh, cellular intelligence to to increase the uh, efficiency of the Japanese subway system. I thought that. Uh, you know, in Neom, Saudi Arabia, this mega city. If we were to plan uh, plan the uh, the subway system, that uh, we we could have the same degree of uh, self organizing intelligence in some kind of uh, some kind of uh, lasting pattern that um, that perhaps had some kind of uh, benefit for whatever intelligence uh, chose to live here including the uh, these these hyper intelligent emergent entities that have returned based on science I mean we heard about the disappearing the disappearing bee population um, these are necessary pollinators and then we also heard about uh, fungal mycelium that can be programmed to grow in particular ways based on research from Tokyo but the the emergence of how uh, underground networks of mycelium connect to uh, fun fungal networks and beehives we could have a, a return of a uh, of a specific kind of uh, beehive emerging where we had uh, 
where we had a hive mind organism, of course, uh, that would be networked by a array quantum superconductive ceramic metals, which uh, can actually be connected to the, uh, the same uh, tissues and, uh, and ceramics within hive uh, organisms, such as beehives um, and mycelium. So uh, literally, we'd, we'd see an underground network uh, emerge and then and then uh, and then quite quite quickly create these uh, three tiered hives crowned with a uh, with this uh, almost symbolic white friendship cube. I thought it would be a quite a quite a great initiative um, that I that in fact the uh, the black cube group might even be interested in, and that's of course based in Mecca.